Preview. The 70s movies, the 31 best movies of the 1970s. It's a common cliche that they don't make them like they used to, but when it comes to the best 70s movies, it's really quite true. There's so much to love about a movie that was made in the 70s. This was the era of the first blockbusters, the era when the likes of Scorsese, Spielberg and Coppola found power in the new kind of filmmaking. The end of the 60s was both a time of darkness and light politically and cinematically. Off of the back of the end of the Summer of Love, punctuated by Woodstock, there were students uprising, the Tate's murder and anti-war protests. All of this brought in a feeling of unease and change that can be seen in every one of the following movies. The best 70s movies pushed the boundaries of filmmaking so much that it flung wrath in the eyes of all Hollywood. Seen as the new golden era for Hollywood when mainstream movies would be imbued with an intelligence and riskiness that has since been somewhat watered down in just 10 years, we've been given a whole library worth of rewatchable classics. To celebrate everything that the 70s brought to movie history, we've assembled a list of the 35 best movies of the 70s. Don't forget to write your favorite in the comment section. Tristana 1970, director Louise Bonuel, Meta Score 93, IMDB user rating 7.5, runtime 99 minutes. An adaptation for an obscure novel by Benito Perez Galdos, Tristana follows a young orphan woman who is subjected to the romantic advances of her older wealthy guardian while trying to carve out a life of her own. By the time of its release, Louise Bonuel had been working on the project for 20 years. Don't Look Now, 1973, director Nicolas Roeg, Metascore 96, IMDb user rating 7.2, runtime 110 minutes. Based on a short story by Daphne du Maurier, Don't Look Down follows a couple who, while grieving the death of their young daughter, moves to Venice and encounters two women who bring warnings from the beyond. A classic horror film, the movie is renowned for its unique editing style, as well as the way it masterfully builds up tension, dread and uncertainty on its way toward a truly creepy ending. Mean Streets, 1973, director Martin Scorsese, Metascore 96, IMDb user rating 7.2, runtime 112 minutes. Martha Scorsese and Robert De Niro star in his gangster flick about a small-time mobster who's torn between love, his own high morals, and devotion to his childhood friend who's indebted to a number of violent creditors. While Mean Streets is, in many ways, a classic genre film and stands apart thanks to its focus on sin, absolution, and redemption. Legendary writer and director John Huston adapted Richard Kipling's story about two British ex-soldiers who attempted to become royalty in a Middle Eastern nation in 1885. Sean Connery and Michael Caine starred in a film and Huston earned an Oscar nomination for the script. The film was received extremely well by critics and audiences alike. The Wild Child 1970, director Francois Truffaut, Metascore 94, IMDb user rating 7.5, runtime 83 minutes. Based on a true story of Victor of Aveyron, The Wild Child is about a young French boy who is found in the woods having had no human contact for the first few years of his life and the doctor who attempts to civilize him. True Thoughts ninth feature him, the movie has been described as moving, lovely and pure. Killer of Sheep 1978, director Charles Burnett, Metascore 96, IMDb user rating 7.3, runtime 80 minutes. Charles Burnett made Killer of Sheep for $10,000 as his UCLA from Filmmaster's thesis project. The movie, which never earned a wide release, is a collection of widgets centering on a poor family in the Watts neighborhood of Los Angeles. While it contains no central narrative, its near-perfect depiction of what life is like for black Americans living in the rock community earned the film legions of devoted fans. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975, director Milos Forman, Metascore 83, IMDb user ratings 8.7, runtime 133 minutes. 
Jack Nicholson cemented his place in 1970s movie history with an Oscar-winning starring role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the film adaptation of the Ken Kesey's novel about a group of patients at an impressive mental health facility. The movie took home an impressive slate of awards including Best Picture at the 1976 Oscars and Best Motion Picture, Drama at the Golden Globes. A Woman Under the Influence, 1974, director John Cassavetes, Metascore 88, IMDb user ratings 8.2, runtime 155 minutes. The third film collaboration between actor, writer, director John Cassavetes and perpetual muse Jenna Rowlands as a woman under the influence. Rowlands plays a woman committed to a psychiatric institution. The film explores the impact on her and her family. The film was added to the National Film Registry in 1990. Barry Lyndon, 1975, director Stanley Kubrick, Metascore 89, IMDb user ratings 8.1, runtime 185 minutes. Adapted from an 1844 William Makepeace Thackeray novel, Stanley Kubrick, Barry Lyndon, details the rise of an Irish outlaw who falls in love with a rich widow and assumes the station of her husband, an aristocrat in 18th century England. Kubrick was Oscar nominated for the prestigious trifecta of writing, directing and producing but failed to win any of the awards. Investigation of a Citizen Above Suspicion 1970, director Elio Patri, Metascore 89, IMDb user ratings 8.1, runtime 115 minutes. A commentary on corruption investigation of a citizen above suspicion follows a high-level homicide detective who kills his own mistress then deliberately plans evidence that should lead to his own conviction. The Italian crime flick won the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Patton, 1970, director Franklin J. Schaffner, Metascore 91, IMDb user ratings 7.9, runtime 172 minutes. For almost three hours, viewers became engrossed in the life of an American greatest generals by watching Patton. George C. Scott won the Academy Award for his role as the hero leader of the film, while the picture claims seven total Oscars, including Best Picture, Best Director and Best Screenplay for Francis Ford Coppola's writing work. McCabe and Mrs. Miller, 1971, director Robert Altman, Metascore 93, IMDb user rating 7.7, .7, runtime 120 minutes. Film critic Roger Ebert called Robert Altman's McCabe and Mrs. Miller a perfect film. The anti-western which subverts many of the classic western tropes and conventions follows a gambler and a prostitute as they become business partners, fall in love, and eventually square up against a large corporation that is hell-bent on talking them and their thriving business out. Solaris, 1972, director Andrew Tcharkovsky, Metascore 90, IMDb user ratings 8.1, runtime 167 minutes. Remade in 2002, Solaris is often included on list as one of the greatest science fiction films of all time. The slow-moving picture follows a psychologist who sets up to understand what's happening on a Soviet space station where several astronauts have died and others are experiencing emotional distress. Through a series of spoiler white twists, the film explores our individual grasps on reality as well as the implications of virtual reality that were beginning to be discussed at the time. Le Circle Rouge, 1970 Director Jean-Pierre Melville, Metascore 91, IMDb user ratings 8.0, runtime 140 minutes. In this crime caper, a recently related thief, a prison escapee and alcoholic former cop team to pull off an elaborate jewelry heist while being pursued by the mob. The film cinematic scene, which lasts almost half an hour and contains almost no dialogue, is an iconic piece of modern filmmaking, establishing like Circle Rouge as a piece of classic cinema. Badlands, 1973, director Terence Malick, Metascore 93, IMDb user rating 7.8, runtime 94 minutes. One of two Malick films to make the list, Badlands is about a murderous duo in South Dakota with Martin Sheen and CeCe Spacek playing the killer pair. 
The movie was included into the National Film Registry in 1993. Days of Heaven 1978 director Terrence Malick met a score 93, IMDb user rating 7.8, runtime 94 minutes. Richard Gere had one of his first major starring roles in Days of Heaven, the Terrence Malick film about a farm laborer who convinces his girlfriend to marry a wealthy but ill farm owner to inherit his fortune. The film tallied the Golden Globe nomination for Best Motion Picture, Drama and the BBC named it one of the greatest American films of all time. The French Connection 1971 Director William Fredkin, Metascore 94, IMDb user rating 7.7, .7, runtime 104 minutes. Another crime story, this one features Gene Hackman and Roy Scheider as New York narcotic cops could discover a massive cocaine smuggling ring by way of France. The French Connection was awarded the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1972. And the film picked up four more Oscars victories and a total of eight nominations. American Graffiti 1973 director George Lucas Metascore 97 IMDb user rating 7.4 runtime 110 minutes. George Lucas second feature film American Graffiti is a coming of age story told through a series of widgets set in Lucas hometown of Modesto, California. Over the course of one evening, four teenagers cruise around town engaging in one last night of revelry before making decisions that will forever alter the course of their lives. The movie was nominated for a Best Picture Oscar at the 1974 Academy Awards. Annie Hall 1977 The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie 1972 Director Louise Bonyol, Metascore 93, IMDb user rating 7.9, runtime 102 minutes. A surrealist and satirical film, The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie, is a collection of scenes, some of which are dreams that center around a group of six upper class friends who are attempting to partake in a meal together. Louise Bagnol's most successful film, the 1972 release, took home the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Alien 1979, director Ridley Scott, Metascore 89, IMDb user rating 8.4, runtime 117 minutes. As cinema advanced throughout the 70s, so did the special effects, and the Alien took advantage of that with a story of a space vessel crew, with an unexpected passenger. Director Ridley Scott had his first major box office hit and the film's visual effects team took home the Oscar for their innovative work. Monty Python and the Holy Grail 1975 Director Terry Gilliam, Terry Jones, Metascore 91, IMDb user rating 8.2, runtime 91 minutes. Upon its premiere, the New York Times called Monty Python and the Holy Grail a marvelous particular kind of lunatic endeavor, a phrase that seems to perfectly define this British comedy film. Written, performed and directed by the Monty Python comedy troupe, the film is a parody of the King Arthur's and Holy Grail legends. Chock full of laugh out loud jokes that have become permanent fixtures in our pop culture lexicon. In 2005, the cult classic was turned into an award-winning Broadway show called Spamalot. Chinatown 1974 The Last Picture Show 1971 Director Peter Bogdanovich Metascore 93 IMDb user rating 8.0 Runtime 118 minutes Director Peter Bogdanovich made the list of the second time with The Last Picture Show, a black-and-white coming-of-age story of high schoolers in a small Texas town featuring a cast of future all-stars. Jeff Bridges, Cybill Shepard, Cloris Leachman, Ellen Burstyn and Grandy Quaid all have roles in the film, which was nominated for eight Academy Awards including Best Picture. Nashville 1975 director Robert Altman Metascore 96 IMDb user rating 7.7 .7, runtime 160 minutes With 24 main characters Nashville is a perfect example of director Robert Altman's propensity for ensemble casts and complex storylines in his pictures 
The musical docudrama follows a group of people involved in the gospel and country music industries as they prepare for a concert that will benefit a populist outsider campaigning for president. Written in the direct aftermath of the Watergate scandal, the film is heavily political and perfectly depicts the country's very attitude toward all things political. Star Wars 1977 director George Lucas meta score 90, IMDb user rating 8.6, runtime 121 minutes. Another triumph of special effects, Star Wars blazed a new trial in science fiction filmmaking. The story of a futuristic world where good and evil are decided in space has earned legions of fans, several Oscars and launched an entire galaxy of sequels. Taxi Driver 1976 Director Martin Scorsese Metascore 94 IMDb User Rating 8.3 Runtime 114 Minutes Cinephiles everywhere left theater saying you talking to me after seeing Taxi Driver for the first time. Robert De Niro stars as an unstable cab driver who plots two assassinations that he believes will make him a hero to two women he's grown attached to. It was the second De Niro Scorsese collaboration and the movie was included as the Best Picture nominee at the 1977 Academy Awards. Apocalypse Now 1979 Director Francis Ford Coppola Metascore 94 INDB user rating 8.4, runtime 147 minutes. In the 1970s, it appeared that Francis Ford Coppola could do no wrong. Apocalypse Now is another example of that. Adapted from Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness, the 1979 film updates the setting from the Congo to the Vietnam War and focuses on the rogue American military officer who tries to become a god to a Southeast Asian village. Marlon Brando, Martin Sheen and Robert Duvall starred in the Best Picture nominee. The Godfather Part 2 1974 Director Francis Ford Coppola Metascore 90 IMDb user rating 9.0 Runtime 202 minutes The Mafia sequel based on Mario Puzo's book went back in time to show a younger Don Vito Corleone with Robert De Niro playing the role Marlon Brando made famous back in Italy where his son Michael Al Pacino tightened his grip on his family in the present. The film is the rare sequel to earn the same level of accolades as the original. With an astounding six Academy Awards going to Coppola's film including Best Picture. The Conformist 1970 Director Bernardo Bertolucci Metascore 100 INDB user rating 8.0 runtime 113 minutes Legendary filmmakers like Francis Ford Coppola, Steven Spielberg and the Coen brothers frequently cite Bernardo's Bertolucci's The Conformist as having a significant impact on their own work. Thanks to his distinctive techniques, arresting visuals and unique storytelling methods. In the political thriller, audiences follow a young fascist who's tasked with assassinating his former professor, a party enemy. It's a story about the ease of sinking into a morally bankrupt ideology that remains all too relevant to today's world. The Godfather 1972 director Francis Ford Coppola Metascore 100 IMDb user rating 9.2 runtime 175 minutes. The most popular film of the 1970s is also one of the greatest crime movies of all time. The Godfather tracks New York's Corleone crime family as Don Vito Corleone, Marlon Brando, cedes power to his son, played by Al Pacino. In 1973, the film was named Best Picture and its impact went far beyond awards season. The movie has created its own subculture with university classes, books and moral following the massive success of the mob movie. For more videos, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Celebrity.tn.